There's like inserts in here. It should come out. What are you doing? Whoa! Don't come up on me like that unless you're subscribed. Uh, what am I doing? I'm making these training blocks that are printable, 3D printable. The future is now. All right. I just cooked. No cap. Let's take these to the gym and test them out. Yeah, I brought all the gear today. We are gonna, we are gonna make sure they snap. No matter what, these are gonna break today. So let's, let's go in here and try to snap them. Let's see if we can grab some weights. So we'll see if they just hold weight. It's like slippery. Well, it's holding. It's holding. So we're gonna have to add more weight. That's pretty good. Okay, they're actually holding up pretty well. We're gonna have to add some weight. So this is a line scale, and what this does, it's gonna tell me how much force I'm putting into it. So if I'm gonna like, pull on them without like just picking up weights. Cause I pick up like 45 pounds. You're going to know I'm picking up 45 pounds, but if I'm pulling on something, you won't know how much I'm pulling unless I use a line scale like this. So I'll, I'll attach the, I'll attach the line scale and the three printed parts up against like a pole or something. And then I'll start pulling on them. I'll see how much weight I'm, I'm putting on it. Yeah. yeah. 180, 180 pounds, it's not bad. I'm gonna need to do it where it's like I'm closer. I need to be like here and pulling on it. Is that metal or plastic? This? That's metal. It's metal? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some chain link. This is a line scale. I got chain link, you want some chain link? I like to put soft on that because I don't want to get it like. Yeah, I get that. Oh, is that for like a straight up pull? Oh, see now this is, this is clutch. That's coach Jeremy, best coach in the world. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now we're working with, now we're working with fire here. All right. So now I just got to add that in here. See, I don't want to put any, um, metal on there and wear it out. Get as close as I can with that. Okay. Here we go. I feel like I'm gonna slap myself if I break this. <laughs> Where we at? I still didn't break 180. It's pretty. This stuff's pretty strong. 180 pounds. <laughs> 204. 204. Uh, 204 pounds, man. This, these things are doing pretty well. 204 pounds. Okay. I have to try to pull harder than that. Oh, man. Should have warmed up. <laughs> you know what? Chalk up. I got chalk up. Liquid gold. The method mayonnaise. Another thing is those like 3D printed things, they're not like grippy. Like I kind of want to add like um, grip tape to them or something. That way you get more friction on it. It feels almost like my fingers are going to just like rip off. Okay, we'll see if we beat our record 204. I mean, I'm 130, so that's a good percentage of my body weight, right? Not too bad. Okay. 
244. Oh my gosh. Woo. <sighs> 259, 256. I'm warming up. I mean, I keep breaking, I keep breaking the record. I wonder if I can yank it enough to be over three. Okay, let's move it to that other side where we're not taking up any gym space and it's a little bit quieter. We're gonna, we're gonna, steal, we're gonna steal Jeremy's uh, stuff. I gotta say, Jeremy's got some great ideas. Like if you wanted to work out like that, you just stick a ball through a piece of plywood and you just pull up. Cause I mean, like you don't really need weights, right? Because if there's something on the floor, you're gonna only be able to pull up as much as you can. So you don't need to be pulling a whole bunch of weights. And I mean, obviously you don't have a line scale. Like typically people won't have a line scale so they won't know how much they're pulling up. And I guess that's why it's good to have a whole weight set because they're like, oh, I don't know how much weight I'm pulling up. And of course you wanna show people how much you're pulling on Instagram, right? But like just for working out and training, this is pretty good. Just do max pulls as hard as you can. Do a couple sets of those and you're getting a good workout. So the number to beat right now for me is 256. Oh man, I'm not gonna break it. Okay, so I haven't been able to break these under my own force. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But as promised, I'm gonna break them. So I got these clamps, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these clamps on here, and I'm gonna tie a rope to it, and we'll see if I could run and give it a yank. Okay, here's the setup. We got a giant pillar, bowline, line scale, clamps, hold, and attach the rope. This part right here is crucial, because this part means when that snaps, it's not gonna come flying at my back. So we got a little safety loop in there for when it snaps. While I'm doing this, I may as well show you guys a bowline on a coil, which usually you need the end, but I'm kinda in the middle of my rope because I'm using too much rope. If you wrap the rope around, I like to do it the more times, the more comfortable. Maybe like seven times, something like that. Get nice thick. You want it nice and thick. Now it's just like a bowline. line. Take a loop, pass it through. And then grab this end. Usually you got the end though. Just make a bowline. line. They usually finish it off with a couple half hitches or whatever here to back it up. So that's a way to tie in the end of the rope. All right, let's see if I can break this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the hell? Okay, a little more. How much weight was that? I didn't even break 256. All right. Oh my goodness. Starting to get some indentation here, but still not breaking. 308. Put 308 on it. All right, it finally snapped. Snapped at 308. Whew. Took a couple couple tries to snap that thing. Oh man. Let's try to just add weight onto it with the clamps and see what that does. That's 
That's two ninety five. That's two ninety five. <laughs> I need to add more. Four hundred pounds. <laughs> okay our tests are concluded so the shock load broke off the 20 mil but i actually hung like the 400 pounds off the 10 mil and i backed off after it started cracking and deforming because i don't want plastic parts flying all over the gym so this is totally viable to train on you could definitely print one of these out if you don't have a printer I don't know, comment what you think below, join the Discord, and maybe first come, first serve, maybe I can send one of you guys out one of these if you don't have a 3D printer and you wanna buy one. I can't send a thousand out, it takes six hours to print these out. I don't have a printing farm, but uh, I might maybe I'll do one of you guys a favor or something like that. Um, I actually has these six mil and eight mil inserts that I didn't even notice that these had. So it's a pretty cool print. So props to whoever pr uh, designed this, but uh, let me know what you think below. Comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Joshua Perry, climbing out of here.